Ah, so I used to ride ponies when I was younger, but not polo. And then, like most things in life that I do, I met someone else that was playing polo, and I thought if they can do it, I can maybe do it. So I started taking it up in my late 20s. So I've been playing for a while now. I won't say exactly how long. <laughs> uh, so that was in England, in Berkshire, so the Royal Berkshire Polo Club. And then I was doing weekend uh, tournaments. And then I'm a friend of Henry Brett, and Henry took me down to Cowdery. So then we started playing at Cowdery. So we did a lot of low goal, like four goal, six goal. And now we're doing more sort of eight, 10, 12 goal polo. Yeah, so really this is a, a good side of COVID, if you like, because we were thinking that we, we might go to South Africa. We didn't want to play anything at home because of the situation at home. And Dubai was just a fantastic option because obviously it's easy to come to from the UK. We actually came for just one tournament for two weeks and we stayed here for three months because it was so good. So we played in the Gold Cup series and now this is our last one in the HAPRC. Yeah. Always with Ed, so Ed's been my main pro since he was about 16. So we've been playing together for a long time. Sometimes the team differs. Um, we played with Mohammed in the last tournament, but it's a real pleasure to play with obviously Mohammed and Habtor Al Habtor together. So this is the first time we played together today. So I think that was a success, so we're happy about that. Yeah, so Gijay, everyone knows very well. In fact, um, Ed also played with him when he was about 15 years old in Soto Grande. So we're very used to DJ. He has a very good um, way of keeping you going and pushing your momentum and making sure he gets the best out of you. Um, I think it was very clear as well between the father and son that they can predict each other very well. And because I know Ed well, and Ed did some amazing passes to them, I think it all came together really nicely. It's hard to describe, but Landy has just been the best. I've never known any, anyone take to polo so much. They're new to polo. Um, but they completely embraced it, understand everything about the horses. In the morning, we go up to the stables, we have a mate, really understand how it is to play polo and how it feels to be in polo, not just the parties, although sometimes it is nice to have a drink and a glass of champagne, but really, they've really embraced Hub Tour and they've made a fantastic event. So every game, doesn't matter which day of the week, has been a fabulous event. And we're very lucky and, and very proud to play for Baylandi. Um, you know, she really, Caroline Bellandi brings out the best in everyone. She really gives her best and you want to give your best for her. So I think she's really the main reason for the success today is, is down to her. So I completely support ladies polo, but personally I actually prefer to play mixed polo. Um, I think it's just a personal preference. I just, I don't really get involved in the ladies league so much. And when you're on the field, you forget that you're a woman sometimes. I think you have to be like that. You have to be tough mentally as well as physically. But it is always nice when you come against a woman on the other side, because I think it pushes you, because you see that lady working hard and doing really well, and it makes you try even harder. So I like to play opposite women, but I like to play in the mixed league.